crying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy or nothing, yeah. That's what we do. Please, please, please. Shall I find the tracking? Oh no, what is this? Message. Message. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay, so Blanca is back on the phone with DHL because we just got a message after our last call that the package has been cleared from customs. Basically, at the moment, we're trying to find out if we can go and get the package, but it looks like we may get the package today. It looks very likely. Okay, so the word from DHL was that it's best if we go to the airport to customs ourselves. The package is there. So we're gonna go right now to customs. We're gonna go there in person and say, hello, we're here, and see if we can get our package. See you soon. See you soon. All right, on our way to customs. 22 minutes apparently to get to the airport customs okay and it's currently what time is it like 9 30. the original plan for this morning was actually to make it over the border to guatemala and sort of on our way but of course this included to have our drones in our backpacks here yeah i can't leave without them unfortunately now we have to go to the airport and make a little bit pressure guys we are here the package is two days overdue please please give it back to us <laughs> So are what we want. If we do manage to sort this, we still might try and get to the border. It's about two hours ride from here to get to the border. So yeah, if we're finished with this before the early afternoon, we might still try and get to the border. Let's yeah. see. Otherwise we have a really lovely hostel. <laughs> like, oh my God, they are so friendly there. Her name is Blanca, the owner. And then Tito, he speaks English very well too. And we have just the greatest fun there actually. Plus, AC in the room and breakfast in the morning is incredible. Anyway, 20 minutes to the airport and let's see how we get on. Let's do it. Benvenidos a Aduana La Mesa. We have to talk to these guys. That's it. Well, how did they get all their bikes up there? On the curve, let's just That's park a, here, yeah. It's a pretty big curve, eh? Yeah. I'll go talk to them. I'm gonna bring my passport too. Hola. DHL? DHL. Collection Aduana. Uh, un paquete? Un, un paquete. Uh, no hablo español. <laughs> well, in the moment. Thank you. I didn't understand anything. The package we are trying to collect is at customs. <laughs> okay. They said I can walk in there and uh, see if I can go get this package, eh? Please be ready to collect, please. 20 minutes later. Hasta luego! Alright, so the package has actually left there already. Can you believe it? So I went with a customs guy. We went up to the DHL office and they said that the package has already been transferred to DHL, but they said the package wouldn't be ready until this afternoon. But we're going to go to DHL now anyway and just see if it's possible for us to pick it up right now. Yeah, I mean, good news that it's actually not held at customs anymore, which is amazing. So it is kind of on the way. Okay, let's try. Let's try here. It's uh, Oliver Gamblin for Blanca Fuentes. Perfecto. Ah, see. Yes. With my finger, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. But can you believe it? We had to pay tax to get these drones back. And it was not a small amount as well. So we declared the value of these as $300 for the package. And they charged us tax of $160 on that. Ooh. So in total, it cost us $250 
to get the drones from Costa Rica to Honduras. So mission half successful, half expensive. At least we have the drone. Yeah, at this point, really thank you again for everyone who has donated and who bought a t-shirt. All of you helped us so much with this incredibly expensive cost for everything. <laughs> Especially for the filming equipment. I can't really express myself how thankful I am. So now we've got to head back to our hostel, pack everything up and hit the road. Yes, because today we will cross into Guatemala. <laughs> I went out to see if I could get those balneadas again that we had last night. So this is what £1.20 buys you here in San Pedro Sula. Look at this. Woohoo! Beans, egg, cheese, avocado. You can't get better than that. But the place during the daytime just has like a buffet. So they didn't have any balneadas for us. Mm. So we've got the backup of a pot of noodles. Yep. Gracias, ciao, ciao. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's an incredibly hot day today. For real, at the moment the bike is recording 45 degrees. <laughs> it's burning hot, it is burning hot. Yeah. Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 368 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Yeah, we didn't have time to do an intro this morning because it was all go, 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 get the package, but we are here in San Pedro Sula in Honduras. And we had a beautiful night at this hostel Dos Molinos where the owner Blanca helped us so much to receive this package with our beloved little drones inside. Yeah, if it wasn't for their help, I just don't think we would have got anything sorted today. No. So no. yeah, amazingly grateful that we got that sorted. Yeah. Despite the fact that it cost $160. Oh. <sighs> So I'm really, really happy and I'm really annoyed as well. But I'm more happy than annoyed. We are on our way, you know, we are on our way to Guatemala now. And ah, it feels beautiful. It's just another example that we've had here in Honduras of just how amazing, kind, helpful, generous the people are here. Yes, totally. But anyway, we head over to the border now. Our navigation says it will take us two hours and it's already 115 so better hit the road let's go Frontera Guatemala! We're coming! Wait, where did that tuk tuk just go? I thought we were on red. <laughs> There's a police officer right there as well, watching. Ah! Ah! Let's go, Guatemala! Here we come! The Caribbean Sea! Nice! Just catching a couple of glimpses of it. We are really close to it now. This road is basically running right along the coast. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But wow, what, what nice properties. Like imagine you live here, you know? Oh, it is just... Oh, wow! It's just a paradise here. It's so beautiful. I can just see through to the beach on the other side and it's just like palm trees. Yeah, paradise. Paradise. Wow. Honduras is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, hey? It's a pretty incredible part of the world here, definitely. Yeah, the only one thing we've got left to see in Central America is ruins. Mayan ruins. Ruins in the jungle. And that is what Guatemala's for. So our main mission whilst in Guatemala is going to be to see the legendary Mayan ruins called Tikal. 
and they're like right in the middle of the rainforest and there's like this temple called the temple of the jaguar and it just looks absolutely stunning there so that'll be like the final piece of the central american puzzle from volcanoes to beaches to ruins hey ruins coming up definitely arriving near the border now because it's a huge queue of trucks and i've got to get out of the way of this car yeah yeah <laughs> hola hola <laughs> Wow, I don't want to know like how long these guys have to wait for. Yeah, I mean, we're still 1.2 miles from uh, the border. Hold on a minute, let me get in here. Yeah. I mean, it's a long enough queue that the truck drivers are all out of the trucks. Yeah. And just chilling at the sides. I think it's like the third or fourth border that we've seen it like this, where there's just a huge queue of trucks. Oh, I'm going to try and pull in a little bit here. Oh, it's all right. Okay, now they're overtaking the other lane. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Why? What is going on here? Yeah, there are two, two lanes now of trucks next to each other. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, actually at the last border, Costa Rica to uh, Nicaragua, we asked and they said it can take up to four days. It was so long, so long. Now I really have big, big respect like for truck drivers. Yeah, I mean, imagine yeah. you're going to take a cargo from Panama to Mexico or Panama to the US. Like, wow. I mean, it's going to take you a lifetime. Yes. I mean, it's taking us a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, wow. And they've got to wait probably, you know, days at every single border. Wow. I just hope we're in a different customs queue than these guys. Uh oh. Okay, this looks like we are getting there now. Yeah. Okay. I don't really know. Let's see. Uh huh. I'm going to just wait and see if he spots us and tells us what to do. Okay. This one. Aquí? Hola. Is there anything? Hola. Yeah, hola. Uh, migración y aduana. Migración. Uh, okay. Aquí. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. I think he said something, something 100 meters izquierda, which means left. Uh, what is this one here? Yeah, it's, I think it's the building over here. Yeah. Okay. I can see like uh, some flags over here. Ah, okay. Oh, there's some overlanders. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. What is this building here, though? Aduanas. Aduanas. I think it's customs there. Yeah, I reckon it's the other side of this central block. Okay. For the first part. And then Aduana behind us. Okay. And then we'll see. Yeah. Let's get this done. Half past three. Two and a half hours to sunset. <laughs> All right. That was really easy. Just got our passport stamped in the first window, which was like exiting Honduras, and then the second window right next to it to enter Guatemala. So we have officially got our entry to Guatemala, and now we've got customs over here, and I think that's dual customs for both Honduras and Guatemala. So I reckon this process should be quite straightforward. Oh, a nice shaded spot for Bumblebee as well. All right. Wow! Look at these machines here! I have no idea! Oh yeah, look at this thing! That is travelling in comfort. It's a Goldwing tricycle! Wow! Can we go around the world the next time in one of those? You wow. would just sleep all day in the back of that. Wow! I will sleep all day in the front. <laughs> it's got a handbrake. It's 1800 cc. Wow, look at this thing! I mean, this is like, if it was any bigger, you couldn't have it on two wheels, hey? You wow. would, I mean... Look how long it is! I mean, it's just massive, isn't wow. it? Crazy stuff. Wow. Wow, there's a whole group of bikers just doing their uh, migration over there, and I think that's all of their bikes. Woo, crazy. All right, let's get customs done. We are stamped in into Guatemala. Amazing. So we're nearly there. We're just on the last bit, which is basically getting our temporary import permit for Guatemala. So they've checked the bike, entered all the details, but now we have to pay for it. And for some reason, you can't pay for it there where we are. 
you have to actually go through the border. They sort of pointed this way, they said go through there, and then afterwards on the left there'll be some containers, and you can pay there. I don't know. But basically, they want $16 for us, and we need to figure out where to go to pay it. 20 minutes later. Okay, so that was a bit difficult because we went to pay and we didn't have enough dollars to cover it. They wanted $35 from us and we just had 20. There's no ATM here. There's no way of getting money. The nearest ATM is like 30 minutes into Guatemala and we can't even get the motorcycle in uh, to go there. So we were pretty stuck. But then there was a guy next to us from the Latin American Motorcycle Association. There's like a whole bunch of these llama riders here at the border as well. And we've been chatting to them and he offered to pay that bill for us and he didn't want anything in return. He just said, no, I'm gonna pay it for you guys so that you can get, get this done. So this guy super helped us out. Absolutely incredible generosity here at the border. Wow. So anyway, we've got to take this back over to customs, show them that we've paid for this, and then hopefully we should be getting our temporary import permit. The time is already nearly five o'clock, so the sunset is going to be in less than an hour, so we really got to get going. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See ya. <laughs> oh, those guys are awesome. No more crying. <laughs> Don't be shy or nothing, yeah. That's what we do. But, you know, ask everybody, you get stuff, anybody wanna help you. Oh that's awesome. Yeah, you're you're super kind. Thank you so much, really. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you have a nice and safe trip. Thank you. And you and you too. Yeah. I will pass it to my friends over here so they can follow you. We need we need subscribers! Please do. We want to follow you, but we want to know when it's going to be the, the, the wedding. Because we want to go there. Oh my god, that would be so cool. If you ever be in Florida, we give you the, the, the number for Lama. You call the chat and then let us know. <laughs> Amazing. <Yeah. laughs> bye bye. Safe travels. Thank you. Have a good trip. See you guys. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think we have to go out there. I have the folder still in my hand. Okay. Hola, buenas. Hola. Okay. Guatemala. Guatemala. <laughs> Welcome. Yes, just that one there. This one here, no? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Perfecto. Ciao. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, look at all these guys. Yeah. <laughs> go slow for them. Okay. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of military, hey? Yes, loads. Okay, there we go. We have officially arrived in Guatemala. Yay! Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. Oh, that took <gasps> us a little while. It's half past five now. Uh, I think we arrived at about half past three, didn't we? So that took us about two hours to do the whole process. And if it wasn't for the kindness of those guys at Llama, the Latin American Motorcycle Association, we would have had a lot of trouble trying to do that, really. We probably would have still been here in the dark, so... Yes, exactly, because normally I read online that it's like 16 US dollar, but at the end, it was like 35 US dollar and we had actually a backup of 20 US dollar and we were like okay that should be normally enough but then it wasn't enough no, it wasn't and they enough. have no ATMs here and you can't pay with card at all so we would have been very 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 stuck very stuck and these guys they just saved us they saved our day and I was so emotional I started crying in front of him when he gave us the money I was like I can't I can't really take it you know I can't I don't want to take it but then he said no 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 you take it and then yeah he saved us yeah those guys were really really cool actually yeah super, amazing super nice super helpful because they spoke Spanish as well so they helped us to translate a lot of what we needed to do they were absolutely awesome we need some nice leather jackets now and get like into their club I would say I want to be a <laughs> member of the Latin American Motorcycle Association yes, yeah. it's amazing I love it absolutely love it so now we are basically gonna find the next available room because we have about maybe 30 minutes left and then 
it's going to be dark so we've really got to try and find the first room we can find here in Guatemala let's go Beautiful, hey? Stunning. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Wow, look at this scene. Always nice at sunset, hey? Very beautiful. Well, there's another control. We've oh, yeah. Probably passed like. Yeah, three already, like no? Three or four already. Yeah. Hola, buenas. Hola, buenas. Uh, hola. I think hola. it's okay, no? Okay, yeah. I think so too. Hola, buenas. Hola. I think just go. Oh, oh, okay. Gracias, <laughs> chao. Gracias. Oh, I see it. Hotel Escorpion. Uh, yeah, this one. Yep. All right. Let's check out Hotel Escorpion. Yeah. <laughs> I I hope that they don't have scorpions in the <laughs> bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not really a good advertisement, is it, for the hotel? No! Hola! Hola buenas! <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Una habitación? Sí. ¿Cuánto cuesta para una noche? 200. 200. ¿Es posible pagar tarjeta? No. No, no. So, solo efectivo. Okay. ¿Es un ca cajero aquí? Banco de Entre Ríos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. All right, got to go get cash. Successful withdrawal from Ban Rural. So that was the last piece of the puzzle for today. And now we can go to the hotel, get our room, and go to sleep. What a day, hey, what a day. And then run over some dogs to finish. But anyway, we're here in Guatemala. We have made it. Two days behind schedule, but no worries. We're here. And that's the important thing, we made it across the border. We have our drones and everything's great. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time. You know what's really cool? So we parked a bumblebee here, and then our room is just here. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. The bumblebee is just in front of uh, our hotel room because often you know that we have to walk three levels and then we have to cross to the last last room ever. So this is really handy for us and I love it. And yeah, that's the room. It's a really big bed, which is cool because Ollie is always sleeping like a little star, you know, with his arms and his legs like everywhere. So this is Ollie's place and then I have like this. <laughs> So yeah, at least the ba bed is big enough. And this is the bathroom here. Very nice. I like the tiling. Looks beautiful. It's almost sunset, but because we've got the drones back today, I thought we've got to take one for a flight at least. You know, we paid so much to get these drones back. Better use them. Beautiful. Oh. I love these drones. It was just like weak signal, weak signal, return, return. Is it yeah, you got it? Oh. We got it. This is too much stress for one day, Ollie. Can we please go to bed? <laughs>